song, let us all stand and we will sing, We Gather Together, Hymnal 5. Let us uh, kneel down for the words of prayer. Let us pray. Our great, eternal, kind, loving, heavenly Father, we humbly come to the throne of grace, asking for your mercy and love towards your people. As we start this program, we invite your holy presence that work in the midst of our heart that we may be able to understand your message of this, after, to this afternoon, O Lord. And help us to apply it in our daily lives, that we see Jesus in our life. Thank you, Lord, that you bless this program, that we bring blessings to us. Thank you, Lord, for Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath day to everyone. We are glad to uh, be together with you this afternoon for our Midnight Cry Ministry and the Jail Ministry. The Jail Ministry would be reporting uh, their evangelism in in uh, 
Karingal Kam uh, Karingal no? Kam Karingal um, The AY department is supposed to leave this afternoon but they have asked us uh, today and I have just uh, uh, been uh, informed just this lunch time to lead the program this afternoon. So we need your cooperation, we need your prayer that uh, this program would be a blessing for each one of us. I would like you to shake the hands of the one sitting beside you and say, Happy Sabbath day, brother. Happy Sabbath day, sister. You know, early Christians used to greet each other. When they meet each other, they used to greet and say, Maranatha. Maranatha. Jesus is coming soon. Shall we all stand up together? Where is our pianist? Can I invite our pianist to come forward, Sister Mary? There's a welcome here. There's a welcome here. There's an Adventist welcome here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There's a welcome here. There's a welcome here. There's an Adventist welcome here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There's a welcome here. There's a welcome here. There's an Adventist welcome here. As we sing this song, I invite you to stand up and you can just move around, shake hands with one another as we sing the song. There's a welcome here. Okay, shall we all stand up together? Shall we all stand up together? You can just move around and shake your brother and sister in Christ. There's a welcome. There's a welcome here. Sing. There's a welcome here. Just move around. No welcome here. There's a Christian welcome here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There's a welcome here. There's a welcome here. There's an Adventist welcome here. Once more. There's a welcome here. There's a welcome here. There's an Adventist welcome here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There's a welcome here. There's a welcome here. There's an Adventist welcome here for the last time. There's a welcome here. There's a welcome here. There's an Adventist welcome here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There's a welcome here. There's a welcome here. There's an Adventist welcome here. Amen. Shall we all stand up for our opening song? To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Shall we all stand up together as we sing the song for the glory of the Lord? To God be the glory. Great things He hath done. So love He the world that He gave us His Son. Sing with joy. Joy in the Lord. To God. To God be the glory. Great things He hath done. So love He the world that He gave us His Son. Who yielded His life and atonement for sin. And open the life gates that all may go in. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the earth hear His voice. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give Him the glory, great things He hath done. Verse 2, perfect redemption, the poor chase of blood to every believer. The promise of God, the vilest offender who truly believes the 
that moment from Jesus a pardon receive. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son. the sun Scripture reading by Sister Jun Lin, no? Sister Jun Lin. Scripture reading, Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Bukod dito, alam ninyo ang panahon na ngayon oras na upang magising kayo sa pagkakatulog. Sapagkat ngayon ay higit na malapit na sa atin ang kaligtasan kaysa noong tayo ay sumampalataya ng una. For our opening prayer, let's all kneel. Let's pray. Heavenly loving Father, Thou art in heaven, our precious kind Redeemer, in this afternoon of your Holy Sabbath day, Lord, we come before you to worship and glorify your holy name. As this uh, activity, Lord, may we, you, may we ask your Holy Spirit to be with us and anoint us so that we can submit to you with a full, uh, with a full temperance, Lord, and may your Holy Spirit guide us throughout our service, Lord. And we are very thankful, Lord, for this uh, uh, opportunity to worship and glorify your holy name. May this uh, activity, Lord, uh, be benefit for each and every one of us. May your, holy, may your name be glorified and magnified, Lord. Help us, Lord, to proclaim your words and may we ask your Holy Spirit, Lord, to guide us. We, we are thankful, Lord, that maybe this activity, Lord, will be uh, blessings for each and every one of us in this afternoon. Thank you so much, Lord, for hearing our prayer. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Once again, we welcome all of you to our program this afternoon for around an hour program. Uh, to be led by the general jail ministry, no? Jail ministry uh, led by Brother Mani Agodo, and also the Midnight Cry ministry by uh, our group there, at a small group at the back. And uh, we will be favored by uh, a song to be offered by the uh, selected group from the youth. Uh, youth group no we will give them the time selected group from the adventist youth and after the special number then to be followed by our visitor from uh,
from somewhere in Kamarini Sur and uh, Pastor Chris will just introduce himself to us this afternoon. We'll give the time to our... Because he lives, because he rose in mighty triumph from the grave, I put my trust in him and seek to follow him in faith, because he lives. Because he lives, I shall find strength to stand against the tempter's power. He is my refuge and defense in every troubled hour Because He lives, because He lives, because he lives I, I can, can bear whatever burden may be mine I am in service of love divine because he Tender mercy cannot cure because he lives, because he lives. Go 
as he lives, I will praise his kindness. Because he lives, hope shines ever bright. Because he lives, I will seek his righteousness. Because he lives, I follow where he he lives, I shall conquer even death, and I shall live, and I shall live because he lives, because he lives, I will rejoice and Thank you for that wonderful and uh, inspiring message that because he lives and uh, because Jesus lives, you know, we have an assurance, we have uh, hope and we can face tomorrow because he lives. I'm giving the time before I call one of our speakers, I call the Ayas teen, you know, the Ayas teen to give the presenter a uh, musical presentation. We welcome them. They come from Ayas. And they will be presenting this afternoon a song, a uh, music. After this, I would be calling on Pastor Chris. No? Pastor Chris to, to introduce himself and to... I just met Pastor Chris this afternoon. Uh, during the lunch, he was sit sitting at the back there. And I talked to him and we know each other that he was a pastor from uh, Camarines Sor, somewhere there. So he would uh, present uh, something this afternoon. So we'll give the time for young people to present uh, music for the Lord.
How many of you know that song? How many of you know that song? Be glorified, is it? Be glorified, no? Well, they will be playing. Shall just we all stand and sing that song? In my life, Lord, is it in my life? In my life, Lord, be glorified. Be glorified today. Okay, shall we all stand up together and sing this song together, no? Uh, any one of you can sing? We just play okay how, how is the start shall we all stand up together ma, ma kapatid we'll sing this song while there is an accompaniment we will just join you in sing just play and we will join the singing uh, later on with especially in the chorus side no okay you can start from the beginning again no together just a short chorus is no in my life lord in my life lord be glorified be glorified in my life lord be glorified today no okay in my life lord really sing in my life lord be glorified be glorified more in my life, Lord, no there, be glorified, be glorified in my life, Lord, be glorified today. This is that as we sing a song, these three fingers should enter your mouth, huh? So open your mouth as big as it, uh, that uh, three fingers can enter your mouth, huh? In my life, Lord, be glorified. Okay, shall we sing once more for the last time? Okay. Sing. Hey. Thank you for that wonderful presentation. Shall we all be seated? Okay, now we will sing even without the accompaniment, no? Even without the accompaniment. In my life, Lord, be glorified, be glorified. In my life, Lord, be glorified. Today, not tomorrow, but today. Okay, no? Okay. Ready, sing. In my life, Lord, be glorified, be glorified. In my life, Lord, be glorified today. The Lord wants us to glorify Him and to what? And to magnify Him. Romans chapter. What is our memory text this afternoon? San makita yung memory text natin kagina. Anyone? I will give you a book if you can. If you can give the exact chapter and the verse of the memo. I mean, the scripture reading this afternoon. Anyone? Huh? You can't remember? Okay. 
Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we first believed. In Bisaya, it says, Nahibalo sa panahon, nga ngayon na, garo na ang adlaw sa pagmata o pag gikan sa pagkatulog, kaya ang atong kaluwasan mas haduol na kay sa bag o pakita nga mi tuo. No? That is in Bisaya. I don't know in Tagalog, no? Ay in Tagalog, it says in Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Romans 13 verse 11 says, Bukod dito alam ninyo ang panahon na ngayoy oras na upang magising kayo sa pagkakatulog. Sapagkat ngayon ay higit na malapit na sa atin ang kaligtasan kaysa noong tayo'y sumampalataya ng una. Our salvation is nearer than we first believed. Mas dool pa ang atong kaluwasan karon kaysa bag-o pakitang mito. That is in Visaya. How many are Visayan here? Would you raise your hands up? Okay. Okay, no? Yung mga hindi makainti ng Visayan. Okay. May jutay-jutay lang. <laughs> okay, no? So we thank the Lord that our salvation is nearer than we first believe. The salvation referred to is glorification. When the Lord will come and we, He will bring us to heaven without seeing death, no more death, no more sorrow, no more crying. That is our hope. Jesus is coming very soon in our time. That is the theme of our study this afternoon. The nearness of Christ coming. So, we should always be prepared. We have to consecrate and dedicate and glorify the Lord in our life while we live today, not tomorrow. For today is the day of salvation. We'll give now the time for Pastor Chris uh, to introduce himself. And uh, he asked me, Brother, anong topic ko? ko? Pastor, nabigla din kami. Kay binigyan kami ng part to lead the program. Bigla din kami. So, ibigla kita, Pastor, ha? Though we just first met this afternoon, but I give you the time. We'll welcome Pastor Chris to yeah, share his. May we be blessed all this afternoon. That's my point of view. Thank you very much for uh, inviting me to be a part of this program. Actually, this morning, I'm quite hesitant to uh, accept the challenge, the invitation. Uh, ang totoo niyan, this morning, while I'm preparing for church, ako talaga ay, sabi ko sa Panginoon, lead my feet wherever you want me to go. Sabi ko, Panginoon, kung maaari, gusto ko muna magpahinga. Ako muna ay makikinig muna ng sermon. Thank you so much uh, for the sermon this morning. Sabi ko, gusto ko ako ay makinig muna. For how many years in the district work, I'm always the one who is giving sermon. Kaganda yung tanong kanina. Tayo po ba ay ginagamit natin pananampalataya natin, tayo ba talaga ay nagmi-ministry? Sometimes we are in the ministry, but the, the big question is, are we putting into practice the ministry na ginagawa natin? That's why kanina I'm supposed to be in the small church. Sabi ko, Panginoon, pwede excuse muna ako. Kaya naglalakad ako, naikot ko po ang uh, yung circle, di ko alam kung saan ako sasakay. <laughs> And then, uh, a friend of mine, I contacted her. Sabi ko, saan bang papunta sa Manila Center? Hindi ko pa rin makuha kung saan sakayan. <laughs> so, tanong ako ng tanong, tagal, tagal bago makasakay hanggang makarating ho ako dito. And then, kaninang umaga, pinili ko talaga umupo sa pinakahuli. And I am, uh, hanggat maaari, I'm trying to hide myself, my identity. 
Kaya nagkukwentuhan kami doon, isang kapatid nagkakwentuhan ko. Habang nagli-lesson, I really want to raise some question about uh, uh, the Sabbath school lesson. And then, ang gusto ko sana yung tanong kanina ay ganitong tanong. Bakit? Alam niyo po, of all the questions that I encounter in life, the hardest question to answer is what? That question, why? Maraming mga tao sa ngayon, mga kapatid, ang, ang dali-dali nilang sagutin yung tanong ba kung sino, ano, saan. Pero alam niyo po, kapag ka narinig niyo na po yung tanong na bakit, may hirap pong sagutin ito. So, this morning when, uh, actually, ano kong pangalan mo, Brad? Di pa kayo magkakilala nito. Brad Samuel. Brad Samuel. When Brad Samuel uh, uh, in, uh, asked me to, uh, to be with them sa lunch, Actually, Brother Sam, pansin mo, umalis pa nga ako kanina eh. Nagtatago talaga ako. Galing na ako dun sa taas, bumaba pa ako. Sabi ko, dito lang ako. Pinunta niya pa ulit ako. Sabi ko, pasting ako. <laughs> Pero binalikan niya, sabi ko, I think the Lord is speaking to me. There's a song that says, You may hide, hide, but you cannot run. You may run, but you cannot hide. So, I accept the challenge today. Actually, kahit PowerPoint, wala po ako kasi wala akong planong magsalita. So, okay ba yung pinagawa ko? Sir, sana siya, no? I think I asked somebody to, uh, to make uh, some PowerPoint. Uh, at least yung, uh, yung salita lang. Now, I have a very vital question to you, all of you. Akong namatikdan nga daghan di ay ka ng bisaya din, you know? Unsa ka, magbinisya na lang ta? Kay daghan mga bisya din eh. Mga bisdak ba? Mga bisayang dako? Ha? Sige, Tagalog na lang ta. Okay. I have some vital questions. Number one question. Pero by the way, let me give you a short story. Ako nga pala si Pastor Chris. I came from uh, Nagaview Advanced College. I'm a former professor of NLAP, theology and health professor. And at the same time, ako ngayon sa kinawar lang ako sa Nagaview. The same po ang aking uh, profession, health and theology professor. I finished my master's degree in um, AUP way back 2004. So, ako ngayon ang isa sa mga professor doon. And then, at presently, ako po ay nasa Philippine Heart Center for my clinical study in pastoral education. So, in Philippine Heart Center, alam niyo po, araw-araw dumadalo kami. Alam niyo napansin ko, Sa Philippine Heart Center, mas marami ang tao kaya sa mall. Pumunta kayo sa mga hospital. Mas maraming tao ngayon sa hospital kumpara sa mga mall. Subukan nyo po, especially sa mga public hospital. Ang mga pasyente wala na ho sa, sa ward. Nasaan sila? Nasaan? Nasa hallway. Bakit? Bakit? Wala nang mapwestuhan. My question to you, what is the role of the church in this end time? Where is the church? Kaya ang mga tanong gusto kong sabihin sa inyo mga kapatid, gusto kong unawain nyo ito. Number one question. Pero bago dyan sabi ko sa inyo, may sabihin muna ako sa inyo. Minsan nagturo ako ng subject ng philosophy of religion. Yung isang estudyante ko, si Sinatan Adventist, Ang tanong ko sa kanya ay ganito. What motivates you to be a member of Roman Catholic Church? Bakit ka katoliko? Alam niyo po ang sagot niya sa akin? Eh kasi katoliko yung magulang ko eh. Kasi katoliko yung ninuno ko. Then so what kung katoliko? What is your philosophy? Since we're talking about philosophy of religion, Philosophy means ethics, value, love. Hanggang sa wala nang siyang masagot, umiyak na lang siya. Sabi ko, hindi ito debate ha. This is just a question. Bakit ka katoliko? The same question, gusto kong itanong sa inyo, bakit kayo Seventh-day Adventist? What motivates you to become an Adventist and to stay in the faith as an Adventist? Because of the Sabbath? Okay, next question. Where can you find in the Bible that the Seventh-day Adventist is the true church? Word for word. 
Can you find? Can you find the word Seventh day Adventist? Can you find? Makita ba? Word for word? Di mo makita. Anong proof mo ng Seventh day Adventist a true church? The Sabbath? Ginagamit yung Sabbath? That proving that you are a true church? For 15 years in the district, hindi ko ginamit na yan. Iba ang ginamit ko. More effective. Kasi ang tanong, yes, mapatunayan mo, the Sabbath is still in the Bible. That Christ, nagpahinga sa Sabbath, yes, magprove mo yan. Ang tanong, tayo ba talaga yun? The big question, tayo ba talaga yun? So, the same question, bakit kayo mga Seventh-day Adventist? Bakit tayo mga Seventh-day Adventist? Now, vital question number one, why, am I, why I am a Seventh-day Adventist? Then, so what if you are a Seventh-day Adventist? Di nyo napapansin, mga kapatid? Minsan na ako yung naglalakad, naghahanap ako ng church. Sabi ko, si nagpapadyak, in the sidecar, sabi ko, can you bring me to the Seventh-day Adventist? Yes, sir. Dito na tayo, sir. Di mani, oy, baptist mani. Sabi ko, Seventh-day Adventist. Sabi sa nagpapadyak, ah, gano'n ba? Sige, padyak ulit siya. Dalhin ako sa born again. Sir, kote ka muna, nagkakaintindin ba tayo? Dalhin mo ako sa Seventh-day Adventist. Kapoy na good ba? Sir, saan ba yun? Ang mahirap sa'yo eh. Natakbo ka, di mo lang kung saan tayo pupunta. Seventh-day Adventist. Kung sa bagyo ito, sir? Sabi ko, ano kaya sabihin ko nito? Paano ko may describe kung ano at sino ang mga Adventist? Sabi ko sa kanya, yung bang nagsisimba ng Sabado? Ikaw, sir, pinahirapan mo pa ako. Kanina pa ako pagod na pagod eh. Sabadista lang pala. Bakit ba hindi tayo kila sa tunay na pangalan natin na Seventh-day Adventist? Pero kila tayo sa pangalang Sabadista. Bakit nga ba? Kasi bansag, ano? May bansag tayo. Anong, tag- anong sa Tagalog ang bansag? Alias. Sabi ko, bansag sa amin yan eh. So, bakit bang mas kila tayo sa pangalang Sabadista, hindi sa Seventh-day Adventist? Nung makarating kami, nakita ko, Seventh-day Adventist. Sabi ko sa magpapadyak, nakita mo, ang laki ng pangalan, Seventh-day Adventist. Yeah, kilala namin sa Badista eh. I, I read a book that, that says, kapag ka tayo, kilala tayo, as a Seventh-day Adventist, kasi sabi niya sa akin habang naglalakad kami, Sir, di ba yung mga Seventh-day Adventist, yun yung mga hindi umiinom? Nainom din kami, tubig eh. Hindi, hindi ba naglalasing? Hindi rin yung nagsasayaw. Hindi rin yung kumakain ng mapupula. Hindi rin yung kumakain ng baboy. Teka muna, mapula. Nakain din naman ako ng ketchup. Ah. Sabi ko, bakit kaya ganun ang pagkakilala sa atin? Hindi kumakain ng baboy, hindi nagsisingsing, hindi naghikaw. Alam niyo po, isang author nagsabi, kapag ka tayo mga kapatid ay kilala bilang Adventist dahil hindi tayo nagsasayaw, hindi tayo kumakain ng baboy, di kumakain ng mapupula, di umiinom ng coke. Mga kapatid, huwag kayong masasaktan ha. This is what I've found out. For almost 20 years as a pastor, mali ang pagkakilala sa atin. Sorry to use this word. Mali o kulang ang pagkakilala sa atin. Why? The big question is, what is the real purpose of the church? At ano ba talaga ang message natin? Minsan nandun ako sa North. Alam mga kapatid, binasa ko ang spiritual prophecy, binasa ko ang ministry ng church. Open times, yes, we have this message, the health message. But we are bringing the wrong message. Alam mo kung bakit? In public health, I found out as a public health educator, nakita ko ang message ng church natin, we focus on vegetarianism. Maganda ba ang message natin? Maganda! Pero bakit ang daming vegetarian may sakit? 
Hindi ako mag-mention ng pangalan. May kaibigan ako. Hindi ko, hindi ko rin bin, ginagano ang vegetarianism. Ha? Please listen to me carefully. I have a very nice message. Very important message. Dalawang pastor. Parehas kong professor. Hindi ko na sabihin kung saan. Yung isa, talagang mahigpit na vegetarian. Yung isa, nakain ng karne. Pero yung nakain ng karne hanggang ngayon, buhay. Malakas. Pares na stroke ang dalawa. Pero yung vegetarian, alam niyo po, taddad ng kanser. Pares ito, pastor, ha? Nagtanong ko, mga kapatid, huwag kayong magdududa sa message ko. Napakalang sabihin ko sa inyo, nasaktan ako ng gusto eh, kasi public health educator ko. I came to the point of what? Of studying what is the real reason bakit marami pa rin nagkakaroon ng problema kahit nag-vegetarian na. And I found out, may punting mali sa atin, sa message natin. I found out, we focus on vegetarianism na hindi naman yung message natin. Ang message natin, I know. Alam mo, mas magandang pakinggan, vegetarianism or health message. Hello? Or healthy lifestyle. Ay, mas magandang pakinggan, vegetarianism or healthy lifestyle. May problema tayo mga kapatid. Vegetarianism is just a part of what? Healthy lifestyle. At ito ang na-discovery ko. Mahilig tayo sa mga lecture, magaling tayo mag-lecture, pero may isa lang tayo naka- nakaligtaan sa new start. Ilan ang new start? Walo yun eh, di ba? Nutrition, exercise, water, ano yung tea? Temperance, air, rest, Trust in God. Alam niyo po, yung exercise alone, tingnan nga natin, sino sa inyo may regular exercise? Tamo, ilan lang? Sinong wala? Kasama ako dun eh. Sobrang busy natin. Alam niyo, may na-discovery ako. Yung exercise ay napakaraming magagawa. Sabihin ko sa inyo mga kapatid. Mapakarami. Since I don't have enough time, let me go on. Next question, what am I here for? Bakit tayo narito sa lupa? Ado, ano ang pinakang main reason, pinakang main objective, pinakang main ministry ho natin? Pangatlo, what, why does the church exist? Bakit meron tayong church? Ano talagang gawain ng church? The purpose. Pangapat, where are we li- really going? San ba tayo pupunta? And last question, what is my specific role or participation in finishing the, God's, the gospel work? Please. Next slide, please. Yes. No, first question. No, no. Uh, sunod, yung pinakaano ko. Next. Next. Next, please. Okay. Next. Wala na? No, no. no. Uh, meron pa ako yung, yung pinagawa ako kanina. Powerful. Wala, wala ka bang ibang ginawa? Ito lang? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So, ang tanong ko sa inyo, how will you prove na tayo nga ang tunay na iglesia? Turn your Bible in the book of James 1.27. Eto mga kapatid, ang pinakamagandang mensaheng nakita ko. To prove who we really, who really we are. James 1.27. Okay. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction, and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Take note of those words, mga kapatid. Ito ang binabanggit ng banal na kasulatan kung ano ang kahulugan ng tunay na relihiyon. To visit the fatherless and widows, and to keep himself unspotted from the world. The big question Meron ho ba tayo na programang ganito? Now, who are the Seventh-day Adventists? Next, please. In the book of Last Day Events, page 45.2 ang sabi dito. 
The Seventh-day Adventists have been chosen by God as a peculiar people, separate from the world by the great cleaver of truth. He has cut them out from the quarry of the world and brought them into connection with Himself. He has made them His representative and has called them to be ambassadors for Him. In the last work of salvation, the greatest wealth of truth ever entrusted to mortals, the most solemn and fearful warnings ever sent by God to man have been committed to them to be given to the world. That is the meaning of being a part of the Seventh-day Adventist. Tayo mga kapatid ay tinawagan, hindi lang basta ano, basta maging miyembro pa lam, lamang po, kundi we have a specific role to be done as a Seventh-day Adventist. And then the warning. There is a warning given by God, testimonies for the church, Page 4. Ito ang sabi dito. Not page 4. Volume 4, page 67. We must not enter into the Lord's work haphazard and expect success. The Lord's need men of mind and men of thought. Jesus called for co-workers, not blunderers. God wants right thinking and intelligent men to do the great work necessary to the salvation of the soul. Mga kapatid, hinahanap pala ng Panginoon ngayon ang magiging ka, ano, katandem ng Panginoon. Kasama niya, katulong niya. Mga katulong na ano, walang anumang reservation. I am so happy to know that your church ay katulong niyo ang papko. Am I right? Papko. Yes. One of, uh, one of the students who enrolled in papko texted me, Pastor, I need your help. Why? I need your recommendation. For what? For Papco. Then what is Papco? Na-explain niyo sa akin. Sabi ko, alam niyo po, ang nakakatuwa dito, yung naghingi sa akin ng recommendation, hindi ko kadistrito. Kaibigan lang ng youth na galing sa akin na nag apply sa Papco. So nagbigay ako ng recommendation. At hindi ko kilala ang nasa Papco, pero I am supporting Papco through the youth na galing ng Bicol. And I am so proud to be a part of your program. Amen? Meron akong kabataan na galing din sa aking distrito. Sabi niya, Pastor, di ko alam saan napupunta. Go! Be one of the youth who are in the ministry. Piendel ako sa light ministry. At alam niyo mga kabataan ito, after ng light ministry, Pumunta ng pop ko, ayaw na mag-aral, they really want to be in the service. Sabi niya, Pastor, dito na kami dadat na ng Panginoon. Amen? Ilan pa kaya mga kabataan sa ngayon ang merong spiritong ganito? Where are those students? Where are those youth? Para mapakinabangan ng ating Panginoon. Now, next question. What is the main purpose of the church? Can you help me, ma'am? Find this, this passage, Acts of the Apostle, page 9.1. Acts of the Apostle, page 9.1. The church is God's appointed agency for the salvation of man. Take note of this word. Ang iglesia ay isang ahensya para sa kaligtasan ng mga tao. It was organized for service, and its mission is to carry the gospel to the world. From the beginning, it has been God's plan that through His church shall be reflected to the world His fullness and His sufficiency. The members of the church, those whom who He has called out of darkness into His marvelous light, are to show forth His glory. The church is the repository of the riches of the grace of Christ. And through the church will eventually be made manifest even to the principalities of powers and powers and heavenly places the final and full display of the love of God. According to the book of Ephesians 3 verse 10, based on Ephesians 3 10. Now, mga kapatid, upon hearing those comments of Mrs. White, yes, yes, that is there. Alam niyo po mga kapatid, for almost 20 years in pastoral work and professor of our college, dito ko nakita na, mga kapatid, malayo tayo sa katotohanan. If we are really preparing for the end-time ministry and for the coming of Christ, 
the big question is, gaano ba kalapit ang pagdating ng Panginoon? Kung malapit na ito, are we really preparing for that great event? Mga kapatid, most of my students in Enlac at Nagabiu ay mga theologians. Alam niyo po, nakakalungkot. Nakakalungkot. Hindi sila masyado nagbibigay ng panahon kung ano talaga ang kahulugan ng ministry. Wherever I go, wherever I assign, iba ang ginagawa ko. This is my secret. Hindi ako nagpupuko sa evangelism. Ha, huh, pastor? Yes. Hindi rin ako nagpupuko sa sermon. Anong ginagawa mo? Ibang ginagawa ko. I focus more on training. Hello? Hi? Anong magagawa pa ng training? Malaki. Pag ako mag-evangelist sa mag-crusade, ilan ang magagawa ko? One at a time. Pero mag-train ako ng sampung elders, ilan ang mag-crusade? Ilan ang mag-bible study? Times ten. That is my secret. Kapag may hour of worship, bibihira akong nasa pulpito. Nakaupo ako. Bakit? I let my elders speak. I train them how to make sermon. Kapag nagbubuhi sa youth, December, Janu- December and then summer, hindi ako kumukuha ng team galing sa ating mga colleges. I make my own Boys of Youth team. Pera? Alam niyo ang pera. Hindi problema ang pera. Kapag may plano ang church o may part plano ang mga leaders, alam niyo ang sikreto ng pera? Dumarating na lang yan. And I prove it many times. May isang sakong bigas na lang ako. Go-go na tayo. And I experience na mag, uh, mag-train ako mga kabataan more than 100 just in one district. Don't you know? Na 50 to 70% ng total membership ng church ay mga kabataan. Tingnan nyo sa, sa listahan. Tingnan nyo po sa record ng church. The big question, where are they? Nagtataka ako, every year ang pastor ay merong goal, baptism. Naabot, 100. For 5 years, ilan na? 500. For 10 years, ilan na? 1,000. For 20 years, ilan na? 2,000 ang members sa district. Puntahan mo. The same ang number 20 years ago. The big question is, why? Isang katanungan mga kapatid na as a pastor, ito ay gusto kong masolve ito. When we were in Baguio, way back, last year lang, November, pinag-usapan naman ito sa kongres ng lahat ng mga pastor. And maybe your pastor was, was there. Was there, what I mean. Alam niyo po, nag ang question. Sabi ni Pastor Andoy, bakit ang mga pastor, kung kailan may master na? I'm sorry, ha? Huh? I'm one of them. May master na. May doctoral degree na. Bakit parang hindi lumalago ang church? May tanong niyo po ba ito? And I raised the question. And most of the visitors are from IAS, from the division, and from general conference. Ito ang tanong ko. Ano ba talaga ang ministry ng church? And I said this question. I throw this question to all of them. Binasa ko ka ko ang balan na kasulatan. Pinag-aralan ko ang ministry ng Panginoon. And even the spirit of prophecy. And it says, Christ spent more time on healing rather than preaching. Nabasa niyo po ito? Yes. At ang sabi ni Ms. White, if ministers of the gospel babawasan ang pagsisermon, dadagdagan ang personal effort, mas marami ang madadala sa pananampalataya. Let me read to you some of the things that I've discovered. Itong sabi, what is the main business of the church? Matthew 28, verse 
Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Idiridiretsyo po yun doon. At pagkatapos doon, after baptism, what's next? Teach them. Ang challenge kong tanong sa inyo, in a year, ilan po ang binabautismuhan po natin? Ang challenge ko sa inyo, observahan nyo. Because I've been there. There. Sa distrito ako, sa work ako. One week after ng baptism, bilangin nyo kung ilan natira. One month after baptism, bilangin nyo kung ilan natira. And one year after baptism, bilangin nyo po kung ilan natira. Since my topic is all about the end time, yung kapatid natin, katabi ko kanina doon sa likod, I give them the same question. Alam niyo, sabi niya, alam mo, pastor, ang dami namin bininyagan, kasabay kami, ako na lang ang natitira ngayon. Mga kapatid, pagtulong-tulungan natin. Let's answer the question, why? At alam niyo po, ito ang nadiscover ko. At ito lagi ang sinasabi ko sa mga estudyante ko, mga theologian. What are the keys to success in ministry? Number one. Ministry of Healing, page 143. Christ's method alone will give true success. Enriching the people. Number one, the Savior mingled with men as one who desired their good. He showed His sympathy for them. Number three, minister to their needs. Number four, won their confidence. And number five, He bade them follow me. Mga kapatid, isa-isahin po natin. Una, When Christ mingle with men, ano ang lifestyle niya? Napakasimple. Kumakain kasama ng community, natutulog na kasama nila, araw-araw kasama siya. Mingling with people. Pangalawa, He showed His sympathy. Anong ibig sabihin mga kapatid ng showing sympathy? Nakikiramay ka and what's next? Minister to their needs. The next sentence is no longer sympathy. It is what? It is what? It is action. And what is the right word for that action? Hello? Empathy. What is the difference between the two words? Sympathy and then empathy. Sympathy means emotion lang siya. It's just a feeling, but empathy is what? It is an action. Mga kapatid, may tanong ako sa inyo. Sino sa inyo rito ang kasama sa action team? What do I mean with this? Alam niyo po, ang ministry, marami at malawak ang kahulugan. Hindi lamang po ito Bible study. Try to know and discover what are your gifts. Kung ang gifts nyo ay magluto, magluto ka lang ng pagkain. Mamigay ka. Kung ang talento mo kung umawit, umawit ka na mga gamit ng Panginoon. Ang alam niyo po ang sabi ng Colossians 1.16, We were created by Him and for Him. Maraming mga kahulugan, mga kapatid, at pakahulugan na mahirap unawain. It's because tayo mismo, hindi natin ito inunawa. At ang sabi nito, minister to their needs and won their confidence, then He bade them, follow me. Bakit napakahirap ng gawain? It is because hindi po natin sinunod ko na ang pattern ng Panginoon. Christ's method alone will give true success. If it, the church will just follow the example of Christ. Alam niyo mga kapatid, ito ay prinub ko ito. Sabi ko, subukan ko nga. Sino dito ang taga Sorsogon? Meron ba? Sorsogon City. Wala? Pumunta kayo ng Sorsogon City. Way back, 19... Uh, no, no, 2007, nung kami ma-assign doon mag-isawa. Alam niyo po, ang distritong yon. talagang sabi nating kulilan. Just five years time. Five years lang. Yung dating 11 na congregation, churches, and small churches, you may not believe this, 
Make a guess. After five years, ilang church na? Eleven pa rin? For five years. Ginawa ko ito. Inapply ko. Make a guess. Ilan na yung eleven? Times two. Naging twenty-two. Amen? Mga kapatid, hindi mo ito masasabing totoo kung hindi natin subukan. Ang ministry pala mga kapatid, I thought, ito ay para lang sa mga ministro. Hindi pala. Hindi lang para sa mga elders. Hindi lang sa mga deacons. Hindi rin para sa mga laymen. Alam niyo po, very tempting ito eh. Lalo na sa city kayo, nung mauso ang laymen. Sorry to, word this, to use this word. Ano po? Dito, alam niyo po, basahin niyo po ang New Testament. Ang ibig sabihin ng laymen, walang iba kundi ang mga kapatid mismo. Yung may tinatawag na no, voluntary spirit. Alam niyo po, ang sarap maging parte ng gawain. Kaya nga, dati sinabi natin, small group. May core group. Ngayon ang naging TMI na. Mga kapatid, pag aralan niyo ng gusto, marami tayong magagawa, madidiscovery kapag ginawa po natin ang mga bagay na ito. And then, it says that the world is in need. The world is in need of what? Education page 57. The greatest one of the world is the one of men. Men who will not be bought or sold. Men who their inmost souls are true and honest. Men who do not fear to call sin by its right name. Men whose conscience is as true to duty as a needle to the pole. Men who will stand for the right though the heavens fall. Ito mga kapatid sa ngayon ang kinakailangan ngayon na maging kapartner ng Panginoon. Ito ngayon, mga kapatid, ang hinahanap ng ating Panginoon na maging kapartner niya. Mga tao na hindi pwedeng mabili, hindi pwedeng ipagbili, at ang mga tao na alam kung ano ang ginagawa nila at alam kung saan sila patutungo. Time will come pag dumating ng Panginoon. God will not ask for your title. Hindi hanapin ng Panginoon kung anong natapos mo, kung anong doctoral degree mo, kung ano ang kayamanan mo, kung ilan ang kotse mo, kung gaano kalawak ang kabuhayan mo. God has only one question for each one of us. The question is, what is your ministry? What is your involvement in ministry? You may not believe if I tell you na ako mga kapatid, after how many years in district, How many years in college as a professor? Ako, nangihina din ako. Ang pinanghinaan ko, hindi yung challenge work. Ang pinanghinaan ko, the church is not doing the right thing. That is my burden today. And you will not believe if I tell you, nagpa-plano akong mag-pop ko. So, I'm as a health ministry. Mahirap ipaliwanag kung hindi ka masaya sa ginagawa mo. Am I right? Mahirap ipaliwanag kung hindi mo na-enjoy ang ginagawa mo. Because you know you're not doing the right thing. Let me give you an illustration. Ano ito? Anong klaseng rilo ito? Anong klaseng rilo? Wristwatch. Anong tawag mo doon? Wall clock. Parehas hindi. Parehas. Parehas rilo pero magkaiba. Nasundan niyo po ako? Are you with me? Hello? Okay. Magdatapos na ako. Iiwanan ko lang kayo ng illustration. Rilo? Rilo. Wristwatch? Wall clock. Anong kaiba ng dalawa? Ito'y para sa kamay. Yun ay para sa sa wall. Yun ay malaki, ito ay maliit. Pupwede ba itong maging wall clock? Pupwede po itong maging wall clock? Hello? Pwede? Pwede. Ang sunod na tanong, naayon? Hindi. Pag ito nilagay mo doon, hindi ito makikita. Kailangan niya ng binocular para malaman ang oras. Pwede yung banging wristwatch yun? Pwede. Naayon? 
Hindi. Anong tawag sa'yo? Kung wristwatch mo ay wall clock. May problema tayo. Anong tawag sa atin? Binigyan tayo ng Panginoon ng paraan para gawin ang tama, di natin ginagawa. Anong tawag sa atin? Mga kapatid, try to meditate these words. Christ is soon to come. At ang tatanong sa atin, what is your ministry? Avoid to stay in your comfort zone. Kahit magkano ang ibinibigay nyo na parte sa gawain ng Panginoon, kung hindi nyo ipinapractice na kayo mismo ang mag-hands on, you will never enjoy and appreciate God's work. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Chris, for that wonderful uh, and inspiring message this afternoon. And uh, as a response, no? As a response to the message, as a response to that inspirational uh, message this afternoon, what is our response? Huh? Uh, sister, can you come forward? We will sing that song, Here am I, Lord, here am I. Take my hands and take my voice and use me, Lord. Okay. Shall we sing together this song? Here am I, Lord, here am I. Shall we all stand up together? Pianist, Sister Mary, can you come forward? I know you can play. Uh, no chords or chords, so you can just play. Okay. Here am I, Lord, here am I. Shall we all stand up together? No, so we can just stretch, no? Okay. We'll do an action song. Here am I, Lord, here am I. Here am I, Lord, here am I. Take my hands and take my voice and use me, Lord. Here. Sing. Here am I, Lord, here am I. Here am I, Lord, here am I. Take my hands and take my voice and Use me, Lord. Okay, we'll sing together. Sing. Here am I, Lord. Here am I. Here am I, Lord. Here am I. Take my hands and take my voice and use me. Lord, shall we sing for the last time? Sing. Here am I, Lord. Here am I. Here am I, Lord. Here am I. Take my hands and take my voice and use me, Lord. We will sing for the last time. We'll be raising our right hand as we sing the song, huh? Okay, shall we sing once more? Raise your right hand, all raising your right hand, no? Here am I, Lord, here am I. Lord, here am I, send me. Who say that? Huh? Huh? Isaiah, Lord, here am I, send the pastor. Dito lang ako, Panginoon, ipadala ang pastor. No, here am I, Lord, send me. Shall we sing once more? Here am I, Lord. Raise your right hand. All right hand, no? Yung walang kang right hand, don't, don't raise, ha? you have no, nothing to raise. But those with the right hand, please raise your right hand and say, Lord, here am I. Shall we sing together? Here am I, Lord. Here am I. Here am I, Lord. Here am I. Take my hand and take my voice and use me, Lord, for the last time once more. Here am I, Lord, here am I. Here am I, Lord, here am I. Take my hand and take my voice. And use me, Lord. Shall we be seated? Thank you. 
God is not looking for our ability. Amen? God is not looking for ability, but for our availability. Available. Lord, here am I. I'm available. Use me. God is not looking for who you are, but God is looking what He can make of you when He takes the whole of you. Amen? Romans chapter 12, verse 1. What does the Bible say in Romans chapter 12, verse 1? I beseech you, therefore, my brethren, by the mercies of God, that you offer yourselves as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Lord, which is your reasonable service. Kaya mga kapatid, isinasamo ko sa inyong alang-alang sa mga kahabagan ng Diyos na inyong ialay ang inyong mga katawan na isang handog na buhay, banal na kasiya-siya sa Diyos na siya ninyong makatuwirang paglilingkod. I beseech you therefore, my brethren, by the mercies of God, that you offer yourselves as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Lord, which is your reasonable service. How many of you are holy? Would you raise your hands up? I would like to see how many of you are holy? Would you raise your hands up? Your hands up. Okay. Thank you. How many of you are not holy? Would you raise your hands up? Would you raise your hands up too? Not holy. You are not holy. I see a few hands. How many of you are not sure whether you are holy or unholy? Hindi ka siguro kung holy ka ba o hindi holy. Would you raise your hands up? Hands too. Why is the Sabbath day holy? The Sabbath day is holy because that day belongs to God. Of the seven days, God said, The seventh shall be mine. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So the seventh day is holy because that day belongs to God. Why, why, why is the tithe and the offering holy? Yung pira na punta sa majungan, na punta sa hantakan, na punta sa saan na punta yung pera pagdating sa pagcollect ng tithes and offering this money is holy and this is for a holy purpose why the tithes and offering is holy why because that money belongs to god sabbath is holy the bible is holy comparing to other books same paper same printing press ang nag-print but this is holy because this book belongs to God. This is God's Word. The Sabbath is holy because it's, it's, it's the day of God. The tithes are holy because it belongs to God. And our body, the Bible says, don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? How many of you believe that your body is the temple of the living God? Would you raise your hands up? Amen. And if you believe that your body is the temple of the living God, then you believe that your body is holy because it belongs to God. You have been bought with a price. The Bible says that, don't you know that your body is the temple of the living God? 1 Peter 2, 9, Ye are a chosen generation, a holy nation, His own special people, that they might proclaim the praises of Him who hath called you out of darkness into that marvelous light. So we are holy because we belong to God. We are bought with a price, so we must and we should live a holy life because this life, this body does not belong to us. It belongs to God. Amen? So now we should realize that you and me are holy because the Lord has bought us with the precious blood of Jesus Christ and we must live a holy life because we have bought, been bought with the blood of Jesus Christ. And you and I are the servants of the living God. And God would use you and me. And use you and me. And we can say, Lord, here am I. Send me. Lord, use me. Here am I. Gamitin mo ako, Panginoon, para sa iyong kaluwalhatian. Now, we would like to hear some reportings. We have more or less, uh, we have more or less uh, 40 minutes more to finish. We would hear some reportings 
before the second part of the program this afternoon, the second service afternoon, we would hear some reporting. First from the jail ministry, Brother Mani Agudo, are you around? Brother Mani Agudo. Okay, Brother Mani. Is Brother Mani around? Wala. Huh? I think doon na sila sa jail, no? Sa jail ministry na sila. Okay, so uh, more or less mga 15 sila pumunta sa jail every day, uh, every Sabbath, uh, daytime, to minister to those who are in prison there. I want to ask uh, three minutes time, because our time is limited, we've been given just a few minutes more, Brother Jason to give his uh, reporting on uh, uh, his uh, missionary work. Brother Jason, can you come forward for three minutes? And after Brother Jason, I'll be giving 10 minutes time. Huh? 10 minutes time, I have assigned this to Brother Emmanuel. Brother Emmanuel would come later on after Brother Jason. For three minutes, Brother Jason, and then Brother Emmanuel will be giving the report. Good afternoon and happy Sabbath to everyone. I just want, I was just given three minutes to uh, share with you my report. Actually, it's my personal report about witnessing. Well, uh, as an ordinary member of the church, I am actually a regular visitor here in Manila Center, though my membership was still at Cavite in uh, Malagasang. But then again, wherever we are, we should serve the Lord. So, we are living at uh, the teacher's dormitory in Omancha Residences in Binondo, Manila. So, while we're attending the church here in Manila Center, I uh, pray to the Lord what can I do to help now with the help of Brother Sam and the personal ministry department, I also ask an assistance from Brother Alex. Then in, our, in, in my uh, uh, place alone, in my place, we plan to create what we call as a small group. Then all that uh, we're living in our place in the four clusters, condominiums, and Numancia residences are all teachers. Now, it's a great challenge for us to have a Bible study. So, what I did, all those friends of mine and also the teacher of my daughter, I talked to them and they also agreed to come every Friday at 7 in the evening to have a Bible study. Now we have a regular Bible study at least with two interests. Just two interests uh, for the start. And I pray to God that this interest will be uh, you know, multiplied by 3, 4, 5, and then up to how many, I don't know. So... I uh, proudly announce to you that we have this ministry continuing in Manila, not just here in Quezon City. I'm also teaching he there in the Ra Suleiman Science and Technology High School as uh, a values teacher. So once again, uh, thank you very much for the opportunity here to report to you this Achievement, which is not my uh, achievement, but of the Lord. We are co-workers of the Lord. I'd just like to uh, end this with the words in Step to Christ. It says here, Uh, 
Okay, it says here, When as earring sinful beings, we come to Christ and become partakers of His pardoning grace, love springs up in the heart. Every burden is light, for the yoke that Christ imposes is easy. Duty becomes a delight, a sacrifice, a pleasure. The path that before seemed shroud in darkness becomes bright with beams from the sun of righteousness. And we know that even thousands of angels in God Himself is rejoicing for the very one soul that was repented and being saved. So, ganun din tayo mga kapatid. Kung ang Diyos nga ay nagagalak sa isang kaluluwa, lahat tayo ay mayroong burden because the uh, preaching of the gospel is not entrusted to the angels, is not entrusted to, uh, to other created uh, beings, but to us humans, as His co-workers. Once again, thank you so much and happy Sabbath to everyone. Okay. Thank you, Brother Jason. I am glad that we have uh, uh, some active young people now in the ministry. Actually, in the Midnight Crime Ministry, we are dividing into uh, five groups already. We've been dividing them and we are assigning them to do ministry like hospital ministry, jail ministry, orphanage ministry, uh, street ministry, and many more. And we hope that uh, all of us will be encouraging one another to do the work of the ministry, especially that we're in these very last days. We'll give the time now to brother. Uh, he will introduce himself. He is from... Uh, uh, okay, brother. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. It's my first time, our first time to be here in uh, uh, Manila Center. Uh, we are recently in Ayas, together with the team of Ayas Strings. Mga kapatid, uh, nice ko lang po i-share sa inyo ang ministry na hindi naman po talaga sinasadya. Um, naalala ko po nung ako yung maliit, lahat po tayo ay uh, we've been asked, what would you like to be when you grow up? Marami po tayong mga ambisyon, marami tayong gustong makamit sa buhay, marating. So balit, uh, hindi ko po akalain na dito po ako tawagin kung saan man po ako ngayon uh, ng Panginoon Diyos. Um, I've been with companies, I've been with schools, I've been traveling a lot. Pero hindi ko po kalain na dumating sa time na tanungin ko ang Panginoon. Panginoon Diyos, ano po ba ang plano mo sa akin? Ano po ba ang panukala mo sa akin? Gustong gusto ko pong maglingkod sa inyo. Naalala ko po nung high school ay eh, may mga sumali na sa church, uh, church choir, sumali sa school choir, nag-aaral sa ating schools. Pero parang pakiramdam ko noong unang panahon ay parang pinilit lamang. To make the long story short, I am connected with a school na hindi ko naman po akalain. I was really dreaming to be working in our institution, pero hindi po ako pinalad. Siguro sinugo ako ng Panginoon Diyos sa isang lugar na hindi natin akalain, and I was connected with a Catholic school. Doon po, mga kapatid, ay nagumpisa ang pambihirang ministry ni ko akalain na gagamitin ng Panginoon Diyos. Uh, it so happened na uh, of all the work that I've done in all the things that I have learned in life and in all the experiences that I've had, sabi ko nga, Panginoon Diyos, para sa ito, sa iyo itong lahat, I will become a missionary. And it so happened that I am a missionary and also a school principal of a Montessori school in Cavite. Doon po ay meron tayong uh, may git kumulang 200 children. Na nagumpisa po ang ministry through the faculty and staff that I have coming from different religions. Meron po Iglesia ni Cristo, merong Saksi ni Hoba, merong Born Again. At ang inyong lingkod ay nag-iisa lamang ng Seventh-day Adventist. At meron po ang kasama na uh, Muslim at meron din pong hindi naniniwala sa Diyos. But pinagpala po ng Panginoon Diyos that we are having um, our daily devotional and we would share and open the Bible and uh, 
No, we discuss the goodness of the Lord every day. And you know, to make the long story short, eventually in the, you know, for some time, we were able to we were able to share to our students the value of eating vegetables. Kaya nga po nagkaroon ang uh, school ng meatless day. Nakakatawa pong isipin mga kapatid na ang mga bata is really uh, adjusting to and uh, eventually liked yung uh, wala pong uh, meat. Kahit po sa kantin ay uh, nawala na po ang pork, ng pagsaserve ng pork at wala na rin pong mga seafood. Nakakatawa rin pong isipin na uh, my school, this school, it's a Montessori school. It's the first and only Montessori school in the whole country and siguro in the whole world that has adventurer and pathfinder. Meron po ba kayo narinig na ganun? We have uh, 200 strong uh, young men and women. Hindi ko na po sila tinatawag na children. At meron po tayong pathfinder club doon. At meron din po tayong adventurer. Sabi ko nga po, may noon dito po pala ninyo ako gustong dalhin. And I'm so happy na you've, I think you've seen uh, five of the boys who played uh, the violin from the strings. Dinala ko po sila doon in our first campuri. And they helped us with all the skills. At uh, dito po nakita na mas at mas matindi pa ang interes ng mga Batang hindi, you know, these are actually original Boy Scouts that were transformed into adventurers and pathfinders. Na mas gustong gusto nila ang ating ginagawa. Kaya nga, nakakausap po po yung mga pastor natin. Kung tingnan lang ng ating iglesia at lahat ng mga leaders at lahat ng mga kapatid, ang youth ministries ng pathfindering at ng adventurer club, mga kapatid, napakaganda ng programa nito na naroon lang sa atin just um, a browse away at purihin na po yung noon Diyos mga kapatid kasi once a month meron na po ang school na ito na tinatawag na chapel period and I get to invite our pastors from Ayas and from our district to share the good news to these children nakakatawa pong isipin that they have stopped doing the signs of the cross when they pray and they just pray just what the Bible tells us to do, to talk to God as a friend. And pinaka the best po sa lahat, hopefully by next year, I'm doing the syllabus for the values class from grades 1 to 6. At ang gamit po natin ay ang ating VOP Explorer. Yun po ang gagamitin ng ating mga teachers from grades 1 to 6. Nais nice ko pong hilingin ang ating mga kapatid na ipagpatuloy natin ang ipanalangin ang mga bata na narito sa Montessori School na ito. Hindi po sila lahat uh, Adventist. Karamihan po sa kanila Iglesia ni Cristo. Kalimitan po kasi doon kung hindi saksi ni Hoba ay, ay Iglesia ni Cristo. But you see, children are very receptive and eventually, hindi man po tayo makapagbigay ng direct Bible study. Hindi man po tayo makapag-crusade. Pero by these things that we are doing, eventually, they'll be able to know and learn about Jesus. Marami po ako natanggap na feedback about the campuri. And the parents are so happy for the skills that their children had. And also, ang mga bata ay naging prayerful. There was this instance that the parent told me, you know, teacher, we went out to celebrate a birthday. And everybody was so excited and the food was served. And you know, my little girl coming from this first grade said, Mommy, Daddy, stop eating. And then they look at her and then they ask why. And she said, let's pray. Sabi ng bata, magpray muna tayo. And they were so surprised. And then, you know, the aunties asked her, where did, where did you learn that? And she said, we learned that in our adventure, adventure club. We learned that in school. Hindi man po tayo pinalad na makapaglingkod sa ating institusyon or saan man nating gusto. 
sa malamang sa ating mga pinagtatrabuhan niya sa ating workplace ang gawain ng Panginoon Diyos kung wala mang gagawa ay may paraan na lalabas at lalabas ang gawain at isa man sa atin ay mayroong katungkulan o tungkulin na kung saan gagamitin na tayo ng Panginoon Diyos sa maliit na ating mga kaya. Lahat po tayo, kung ano man ang ating natapos, kung ano man naabot sa ating mga buhay, sabihin po natin sa ating kapwa at sa ating mga mga tao nagtatanong sa atin, I am a missionary who apparently is a medical doctor, a missionary who apparently is a teacher or a nurse or an engineer or architect. Ngayon ko lang po napatunayan na lahat po tayong ay missionary at meron tayong mission field na nakalaan sa atin in our wildest dreams, in the places that we do not expect, definitely God will use you. Sabi nga po, for I know the plans that I have for you. Plans that will prosper you. Pwede niyo po ituloy. For I know the plans that I have for you. Yun po ang... Uh, ang uh, kamangha-manghang gawain ng Panginoon Diyos na hindi natin alam sa darating ng panahon, paglaki ng mga batang ito, sila mismo ang hahanap ng katotohanan. Gayun din sana ang init na naramdaman natin sa ating mga anak dito sa ating church schools. Mga kapatid, ang lahat ng ito ay hindi dahil magaling tayo. Kung hindi dahil willing tayo magpagamit at magpasakop sa Panginoon Diyos at bibigyan tayo ng kanyang dunong upang magampanan natin kung ano man ang kalooban niya sa lupang ito. Sana tayo ay magtibay hanggang sa huli ng kanyang muling pagbabalik. Ang ating panalangin ni sa atin ay walang mawaglit bagkus. We will all gather our loved ones and friends who haven't received Jesus as their personal Savior. Maraming salamat po and happy Sabbath. Maraming salamat. Thank you very much. And though we have limited time, Because I have seen already here the flash, the time that you must uh, end already. Because there will be a distribution of, sister, pamphlet distribution. Pamphlet distribution. So, how many of you are blessed this afternoon? Would you raise your hands up? We have been blessed in many ways. No? God is calling us into the ministry. All of us are in the ministry. We are not here just to, to make that our being shiny, but God is calling us, you and me, a high calling into the ministry of reconciliation to call people into the light that has been shed before us for the Lord's glory. Shall just be singing one song as a part to end our program this afternoon. All to Jesus I surrender or Can you come, Sister Mary? All to Jesus I surrender or And I pray that as we sing this song, we shall begin to realize that the Lord is calling us to surrender every part of our lives. Either it be social life, our spiritual life, emotional life, love life. We need to surrender to the Lord. All to Jesus I surrender all to him I freely give. Shall we all stand up together, mga kapatid? We need to surrender our life not only today but every day before the presence of the Lord, especially that Jesus is coming very soon. All to Jesus I surrender. All to Him I freely give I will ever love and trust Him In His presence daily live I surrender all I surrender My blessed Savior, I surrender all. Before we go to the second stanza, mga kapatid, you remember in the Garden of Eden, in the Garden of Eden, man used his will. What is will in Tagalog, brother? Huh? 
Man used his will in direct disobedience to God at salvation. Man takes that will which is under the control of sin and he surrender it back to God. That's why Apostle Paul says, It's no longer I that lives, but Christ liveth in me. And the life that I live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God. Verse 2. All to Jesus I surrender Humbly at His feet I bow Worldly pleasures all forsaken Take me, Jesus, take me now I surrender I surrender all, all to Thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. Verse 3, all to Jesus I surrender, make me Savior, holy. Thine. Let me feel the Holy Spirit Truly know that Thou art mine I surrender all I surrender all All to Thee my blessed Savior, I surrender all. This time, just the piano playing slowly. How many of you this afternoon say, Lord, I know that I have only one life. You have bought me with a price. You died for me. You have given all that you have for me. Lord, I want to surrender my life to you. Lord, I know that I cannot pay, I cannot repay what you have done for me. Lord, I want to surrender. Thank you for the Sabbath day, Lord, to remind me that I have, I was created by God and I can rest now in Christ because what He has done for me in the Calvary. Lord, I want to surrender my life. I would like to raise my hands as a sign that I would like to surrender before the Lord. Would you raise your hands up? Anyone want to surrender? Thank you. Those of you who raise your hands, I ask you to come forward as we sing the fourth stanza. Shall we sing the fourth stanza? Those of you who raise your hands, you may come forward before pastor will pray. All to Jesus I surrender. Now I feel the sacred flame. You may come forward, not be ashamed. The Lord said, if you will be ashamed of me, I will be ashamed of you before my Father. Lord, I cannot repay, but Lord, I want to surrender. I want to dedicate. I want to consecrate my remaining life, days in my life. You may come forward. We have more space here in front. You can pass through the aisle and just come forward here. Lord, I surrender all to Jesus. I surrender all. All to Thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. Pastor, can you come? For, Pastor Chris, can you come forward? All to Jesus, I surrender. Mm, I feel the sacred flame. Oh, the joy of full salvation, glory, glory to His name. Together, I surrender all. Shall we kneel down before the Lord? I surrender all, all to Thee, my blessed. Savior, I surrender all. Pastor Chris will lead us in the consecration prayer.
Let us pray. Loving Father in heaven, we are kneeling before you at the throne of grace, O oh Lord. I'm bringing you personally the whole church as we kneel down before you, O oh God. Here is the church who is waiting for your blessing. We really want, Lord, to be fully prepared for their soon return. We just heard the meaning and the function and the work of the, of the church that you have chosen. That this church purposely found out for the purpose of saving souls. To be the agency for the salvation of man. To be the center of your work. Lord, make us whole, O God. Bigyan mo kami, O Diyos, ng pagkakata na maunawa ng lahat ng ito. Na bilang isang iglesia, magkasama, magkapit kamay, maunawaan ang gawain na ito upang sa gayon, ang gawain iniwan mo sa aming mga kamay, ang gawain iniwan mo sa iglesia na ngayon ay wala ka na, ito ay may pagpapatuloy. Were those days you were found in every villages, healing the sick, touching them, na kung saan ang pilay ay nakalakad, na maging ang bulag ay nakakita at ang patay ay nagawa mong ibangon. You have said also that we practice faith. We can do even more like that, O God. Help us, O Father, to practice that kind of faith where we can work hand in hand with you in fulfillment of your promise. Nang iglesia ng ito in the last days will be doing a very specific work. Here we are in the center of Metro Manila, the capital of the Philippines. Panginoon, galing kami sa iba't ibang mga lugar, iba't ibang probinsya. Ibigay mo sa amin, Panginoon, yung bas-bas. Ako bilang yung lingkod, itantas kong aking kamay. Ang inyo ng pagpapala, ibuhos sa iglesia ng ito at mahanda ang buong iglesia sa gawaing inilaan mo para sa amin. Mamuhay kaming masaya, malusog at banal at taas noo naming sasalubuin ka sa alapap ng langit at sasabihin namin, Panginoon, ginawa po namin ang iyong hangarin, ang iyong panawagan na kami ay makagawa ayon sa iyong kaloban. Panginoon, gawin kami, kaming nagkakaisa, nagsasama-sama, nagkakatulungan at maging sentro ng gawain ang iglesyang ito at maraming mga tao ang madal sa iyong mga panan. Ipagpatawad sa kami ng kulang nagkasala. Especially kung nalapit sa iyo, O Panginoon, ng kanilang pastor dito. Mula sa senior pastor, the assistant pastor, the youth pastor, all the elders, the deacons, the church board, the school board, and all the members of the church where we can work hand in hand, O God. Bless all of us here. And we want, and we are asking the Holy Spirit to be with us, to change us, O God, upang sa gayon kami ay mahanda. Ipagpatawad ang mga saan kami nagkula nagkasala ang lahat ng hiniling pinapasalamat and we claim na ito ay bibigay mo sa amin dahil ang lahat hiniling sa pangalan ng Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. You may go back to your seat. Shall we sing as you go back to your seat? Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Turn your eyes upon Jesus as you go back to your seat as we sing the song and we'll be giving the time to the second part of the program this afternoon. Turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full in His wonderful face, and the things on earth will go strangely dim in the light of His glory. And grace. Amen. We'll be giving now the time for the second part of the program, the participants, any announcement, and then thank you and God bless.